The short splice is a good way to join two pieces of rope together but it ends up being a little bit thick so you might not be able to pass this rope through a block or a pulley. If you want to join rope and not increase the diameter too much you're going to need to know how to do a long splice. This is easiest to do with rope that holds its spiral shape when you unravel it. If your rope doesn't hold a spiral shape then the easiest thing to do is to smother your rope with hair gel first and wait till it sets and then you can unravel your rope and once you've done that you just want to seal up these ends so they don't fray. If you're using synthetic just heat treat them and if you're using natural fiber you're going to have to put a little whipping around the end. Then you want to unravel about 40 times the rope diameter. I'm using 10 mil rope today so I've unraveled around about 40 centimeters of the rope and then you just want to marry these two pieces together just like you interlock your fingers. So we'll interlock these three strands on both sides. So Once you have your rope interlocked just pick any strand on the right hand side and then what you want to do is take the opposing strand on the other rope just to the left of it and then what you want to do is unravel that one just a couple of turns and then lay that one into the groove that was just vacated a couple of turns And now we're just going to keep doing that, unlaying a little bit and laying the opposite strand in just until we get 20 centimeters or so down the rope. So once you've moved along the rope, the rest of the rope should look exactly the way it did before if you've laid that strand in nice and evenly. And then what we want to do is just where it joins here, we're going to tie an overhand knot just temporarily so it sits nicely in that groove. So we're just going to tie that off and then we're going to leave this for the time being and go back to where we started at the center and now we're going to repeat the process but going in the opposite direction so pick a strand and this time we're going to pick a strand to its left which will be this one and I just want to unravel that strand a couple of turns and then lay the strand in that groove that was just vacated and we're going to do the exact same thing. Unlay a little bit and lay this opposite strand into the groove as it's being vacated. And we'll do that again about 20 25 centimeters up the rope. So, again, that section of rope should look like it's undisturbed, should just look like normal rope without too many kinks or unevenness to it. And as you do it, you can just roll it in between your hands just to fair it up and make sure the tension between the strands is as equal as you can get it. And then when we get to the junction, again, what we want to do is just tie a simple overhand knot in that space and the rope should look relatively undisturbed here at the junction and now we're going to go again back to where we started so when we're back at the middle we have the last two strands and we don't need to do anything with these ones we don't need to unravel any more rope all we're going to do is again tie an overhand knot at that junction just to marry these two together nice and tight just like that and then we're going to move again to the left hand side where we did our first unraveling when we get to the junction at the very left hand side what we want to do is just splice these two ropes together finally and we're going to do that by doing an over under weave 
so the rope exits here we want to go over this strand under over that strand under over under and continue splicing along the length of the rope so you just need to open it up and I'll go over one under one push the end through make sure that there's even tension on the rope roll in between your hands between each tuck and then repeat the process over one under one tuck it through again make sure that there's even tension on the rope just pull on the free strand pull on both sides of the rope and roll the rope in between your hands just to make sure that the rope is nice and fair and we will continue going in that direction over one over one over one under one and then we're going to have to do the exact same thing with the other strand so I've completed the tucks going in one direction and now I just need to repeat that process with this strand going in the opposite direction and you'll find that this strand is quite long uh, so you have the option you can just tuck this long strand or to make it easier you can just at this stage cut this long strand shorter and then again fuse the end so I've just cut this short and I've fused the end and now I'm going to splice going in the opposite direction and again it's just over one under one so see where it exits the lay of the rope and it's going to go over one under one over under all the way along the rope so again open it up just by twisting the rope opening a gap and pushing that free end through and then pull on the end pull on both ends of the rope and roll it make sure that the whole thing is nice and fair so we get even tension once we've spliced these strands together and just continue along over under over under so once you finally splice together that left hand section you can move to the middle and repeat the exact same process over under in one set one direction and then over under in the other direction and then finally go to your very right hand side and do the exact same process over under in one direction and then over under in the other direction so after you've spliced together all three sections what remains is just to cut these ends short here the ones that are just hanging loose and then fuse the ends then your finished splice should be nice and thin and have three spliced sections one two and three